All right, hello everybody and welcome back. I am Cassis Plays, and today we are checking out this game called V Rising. It just released within the last day or so. And uh, yeah, I will say shout out to Stunlock Studios because I did join their creator uh, program that they had and they actually sent out a bunch of keys uh, earlier today while recording this. So uh, with that said, I guess we're gonna go ahead and jump into this game. Uh, so there are a few options. Uh, there's online, private, or host your own server. Just for the sake of trying it, I'm gonna go ahead and do online and then do PVE. Uh, there is options for PVP. Uh, then there's full loot PVP. Drop, oh, okay. So you actually, if you die, you drop all of your loot. And there's also duo PVP. So let's go into uh, PVE and see how this one goes. Looks like majority of the servers go up to about 40 or so, I think. Actually, okay, so if you go over here, let's see. PVP. Okay, so PVP servers go up to 50. That's interesting. That's cool, though. Okay. Uh, brood. Of this, uh, I don't know which one to go, I guess. Let's try, let's try this one. Wait, no, that's Japan. Is that Japan? I guess this one, maybe? Display all servers and settings. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot more options, I guess. Oh, wait, never mind. Wait, what is this then? Does it just show, like, recommended? Oh, it's recommended servers. I see. Okay, so it does go up to 50 then. Yeah, if you click on display all, then it shows all of them. Nice, and, it, and by default, it's under 100 uh, milliseconds. I'm going to change it to 50. Okay, uh, let's try joining this one, I guess. I didn't know too much about this game. Uh, I really only found out about it about a week ago uh, when there's a few people that are playing it on Twitch and everything. I was originally going to stream this, uh, but instead I decided to uh, to record some footage because just earlier today, at the day of recording this, uh, Arma Reforge was announced. So now I'm going to be checking that on, on out on stream. But I would always be down to do a stream of this sometime, most likely, because I think it, uh, oh god. <laughs> Holy, some of these faces. Like a normal face. I like how there's full customization. Always happy. <laughs> That's classic vampire. It kind of works out, too, because, like, recently I've been saying, like, man, we need more vampire games. I hope to do a vampire playthrough uh, on stream sometime this year. I don't know when yet, but sometime. I can't decide whether to do, like, a normal face or, like, one of these. Uh, Might go with nine. Let's go with nine. Eye color. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can change your eye color. I'm sure a lot of people is going to stick with red. I think I'm going to go purple. And I'm going to I'm going to go for like a little bit of a drow look to it. Um, what does this do? I don't know what this little box does. Hair color. Oh, wait, there's even more options. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I'm still going to go with the purple for now. What type of hair that we got? Um, let's see. Still need to go back and watch uh, more of Castlevania. I also want to play, that's another game I want to do a series playthrough of. Oh, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, or if you, you know, enjoy this Let's Play, definitely leave a like on the video. It really helps me out a lot. Let's me know what people are enjoying and uh, dedicate more time to trying to make 
more episodes of that game. Vampire with a beard. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. But I kind of like the goatee. I kind of like like that. Uh, something about it's kind of cool. You can put on earrings or glasses. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I guess let's go with this. Why not, right? Rotate camera. Press and hold. Okay. So that's how you move. I don't know how long this episode's gonna end up being, but we'll see. Space to wake up. And we have arrived. We have awakened. Collect bones. Zero out of 30. Hold shift near the uh, cliff edge. Okay. And when your mouse moves around, it looks like that's what highlights like a player or something. Oh, it's also where your character looks. So right click is the only way to turn the camera, at least right now. Uh, Q and E, no, they don't do anything yet. Space does that type of jump, I guess. Like we have like armor and other things like that on the right. Inventory, probably crafting. The bones of the dead will come to serve a new purpose. Now apparently there's also voice chat in game. Like proximity voice chat. And text chat, which is pretty cool to see. Oh, God. Now, I haven't really messed with any of the settings as far as graphics-wise. I kind of just let it choose whatever there was and figure it out while we were actually in-game. Okay, so we got 10 bones so far. We need another 30. does that do uh block melee and projectile attacks for oh, i didn't realize he was still alive for 1.5 seconds blocking an attack heals you for 30 percent of your spell power and triggers a wave of energy okay projectile deals magic damage veil of blood dash towards the input uh direction and elude nearby enemies you can only heal up to 25% of your health while in combat and use us uh, and by skill usage use consumables or blood mend outside of combat to recover fully. Okay. I don't think we have any. Oh, flame. Crafting recipe unlocked bone sword. Tab some items are crafted in inventory. Oh god, we're getting burned. Okay, so stay out of the light. Got it. Crafting Bone Sword. Is that another? I think that's another player. When I started the game, the uh, there's like a cinematic in the beginning that was really loud, so I turned everything down. I'm going to turn everything up a little bit. Gorge. Hello there. <laughs> I don't think people know that uh, middle mouse button's an option. Oh, they said hello. <laughs> they said hello in chat. Nice. Okay, so, oh, we got everything. Claim that, bone ring. Uh, so we need to craft a bone ring now. 
gives me gear gear level and spell power. Now what does F do? Uh, feed on a hostile living humanoid with low health by pressing F. Uh, do, 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 by oh, completing well. the action. Hello. How are you? So, good. Just killing some skellies. Yeah, same, same. Oh god. He's probably looking for how to press, uh, push to talk. If you use, when those big guys are fighting you, if you hit C before they hit you, it does a big counter. Ah. Big damage. You're about to die. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close. Rat. Do you have any rats in your inventory? Nah, I literally just spawned, so I'm trying to see. Uh, here we go. I guess you can pick up rats. All right, so we need to craft a bone guard, uh, legs. Wait, can you like, am I crafting that? Oh God. I'll try to split you one off. Okay. If I can, nice. I'm trying to figure it out. Here, pick this up. This bag. Can you pick that up? Oh yeah, I got now, it. Hit, hit tab and then right click it. it should did that heal you at all? Yeah, it did a little bit. Thanks. Use blood mend to exchange blood for health. Oh. If you hit control, there's like a healing thing. Yeah, it just it just told me right now. <laughs> Okay, so there's like an out of, if you're out of combat, I guess you can use blood mend to heal okay. your health up. Cool. Nice. I need more bones. Guess let's try this. I wonder if it drops. Okay, so it only drops for each is of us. Loot, is loot to everyone? Like, if I kill something, can you pick the bones up? Um, I saw the bones of that last enemy that you killed, but then I saw you pick them up, so I couldn't pick them up. So I guess it's. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh well. Let's try going to the woods. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually. Bones. Uh, unlock recipes here. I'm gonna try going this way then. Yeah, that blood mend really helped me out. That is for sure. I probably have enough to craft the next thing. I don't know why. What is this? In combat debuff. Your do not regenerate health uh, and healing effects are limited. What is happening? Why is there... There's like a mist on the corner of my screen. Oh no, wait. We only need one, not two. Animal hide? All right, did we equip it? Yeah, we did, okay, cool. We need to figure out wherever animal hide would be. So it looks like majority of the bones we, we have, so we might be okay with that. I guess let's go out into, I think we're in like the tutorial area that where it wants you to just like kind of kill things until you get equipment. And then when you leave, you probably, that's like the actual world. Um, Yeah, in here, I think it's just all skeleton so i'm gonna to leave this place that guy might have been in there for a little bit longer 
longer than you need to be. Choose a location where to start, west or east. Let's go east. Okay, press and hold down shift to jump uh, near the cliff edge. All right, so we still need to find those animals. Hold to drag. <laughs> Wait. I think they went to sleep. Yeah, I think that's another character player. Oh, there's a rat. There's another player who went to sleep. Damn, all these people play going to sleep. Map. Far, Far Bane Woods, Hollowed Mountains, Silverlight Hills, Dunley Farmlands. Okay. A lot going on here. Um, let's see. Maybe I'm supposed to go over to this thing. So as I was watching a few streamers play this, I think the higher you go in the map, probably the the more dangerous it begins to get. Um, I don't know how true that is. And I think there is like a type of quest system that like begins once you do get yourself geared up a little bit, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think this kind of like is actually, yeah, it is your journal. Um, I saw when I was watching streamers myself, the dots that follow you are actually your previous steps. So that way, you know, which way you're going. I thought that was the quest objective for a minute. Cause whenever I was watching someone, I thought that they're following themselves. Uh, why am I like listening in a way? What's in here? Blood rose? Plant fiber. Craft bone guard gloves. We, well, we need animal hide to get that. Like you can get stone. Yeah. 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 Out of blood. Uh oh, do I need to eat something? Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Suppose vein. Oh no. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing here. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. I have no idea where I am. I don't know what is happening. Water's not gonna help me. I haven't found a single animal, a live animal yet. Uh, well, that's probably GG for me. Wait, my health is at one. Blood mend. Stone golem, oh God. Oh God, there's a level 18 bear. Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, there's another per- Oh, they are getting attacked. That's great. That is great. Uh, wait, there's something right there running. Oh, hey, found him again. Dude, I don't know where to go. I think there's a spawn point over here. I was here already. I wonder if there if the enemy is just like aren't spawning for me yet. Or if like they're they're getting killed too fast so like I'm not seeing them then. Uh 
Uh, hmm. Oh, there's something right here. More bones. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a... Good hit. Fee. Essence. Animal hide. Okay. That is a giant animal. Back here. I wonder if I, um, I don't even know. Out of blood, I'm still I'm so close to it. So you don't die when you're at 0% health or 1 health, but you get really, really close to dying. <sighs> I can't seem to find anything, though. See, I, I think if we were in a PvP server, you might be able to uh, feed on the other players that are sleeping. Which would actually kind of be a, a, a funny, funny and cool thing to do. But like, where would they be at? The one thing that like, I, I think survival games are pretty neat and they're, they're cool. They're cool. But like it, uh, when there's no quest direction, like that's the one thing that kind of like separates a survival game and like an MMO is like, of course survival games like they'll have a bunch of like um servers and everything which is fine like 50 players is fine to to join but when you don't have like any direction sometimes like that's what turns me off about most survival games um because you're kind of just like hey go craft this stuff and that's it which is fine in this. Like, I, I feel like there's something a little bit different with this one. Um, the only other, like, survival game I played and was, like, actually interested in, really, was, um... Oh, there's a bunch of people there. But I'm in the sun. I think I have to wait until the sun... Does it go down, or...? Nah, I don't think it does, because we're it's from 10... All right, well, let's try this. I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh! Yeah, that was, that's kind of what I figured. That is pretty much what I was expecting to happen there. Wait for an allied or press X to respawn. We'll press X to respawn. I'm of death. You were slain. Oh, you have to press X or space to respawn. Okay. Well, now we know that there is a, and it looks like you can spawn right or left. All right, so that was the test, guys. Uh, I was testing the dot, the death mechanic. So that is what happens. You now know what happens. <laughs> that was completely intentional the entire time. Uh, I was expected to happen. I wonder if there's something that like stops. Uh... Oof, he stole it from me. Uh, it's okay. That's that's payback for for him giving me the. Uh... Oh God. That's... Attack level too slow or too low. Payback for him giving me the rat originally now it's gonna be interesting fighting these enemies out in the open unless if there's like always shade that you can kind of hide in 
In that case, it would actually be pretty nice. Um, shoot, did we lose all of our equipment? I wonder if my body has all the equipment there. Sorry, my dog's going off right now in the background. Oh God, take it. Feed. We're about to feed on our first person. Yum. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Oh my. Daytime is difficult. Jeez. Is there a closer spawn point or is that like the only one? Vampire Waygate. I think this is the only one. Okay, well, I wanted to test out ha what happens when you die a second time. So now you guys know what happens if you die a second time. Also, you lose any uh, materials you gathered before. Wasn't sure about that one completely, but now we know. And that's our, okay, so now we know that too. That's where our blood uh, gauge is. So if this moves or gets lowered, then we're basically gonna be starting to uh, lose health. I guess there's more enemies out here now. Go ahead and do this one too. And once again. Okay, that's good. So we're actually getting health and... Oh God, oh God, get out the... Jeez. I didn't realize I was standing in the sun. So we right there we are getting uh, bones and animal hide. Now the nice thing is you don't lose the gear that you have equipped. You lose any materials, you don't lose any gear. So that is good to know. That's for making our last uh, bone guard gloves. Okay, so we need to cut down a tree. Cut down three trees to craft a bone axe. Yeah. 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 Once it hits like dark time again or nighttime, then I'll try going back over to the other area where the uh, the hunters were. The moon is rising. Nice. Okay, so we are safe again. We do need to find some bone though. So getting to level 10 is pretty fast. Uh, it didn't take like an extra amount of time or like an extra long amount of time to be able to get there. It's actually kind of nice. All right, now I don't know if this was a good idea, but we got a, a heart. Okay, that's a consumable for small blood or for a small amount of blood. Nice. So that's how that works. Um, 
Um, let's see. Nine percent blood quality. It looks like if you get up to five, uh, yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of extra blood, I guess, or bonuses. Twenty. 10 to 20% damage reduction. That's pretty good. Since I died here twice, I wonder if I'm able to... It's all him. Uh, Bone axe, we need 10 more. Kind of just exploring right now, too. It makes it look like if you walk over to that, like you're going to be able to press F to uh, pick it up. But no, you actually have to cut everything down. Bandit camp. I guess we're at the second one now. Okay, so I wonder if, if this is another player's stash. Yeah, it looks like somebody else died here, but you can't pick up their stash. I wonder, I'm sure like in PVP you might be able to. much else there craft bone axe do we have any more no we're still at 10 or we still need 10 more <sighs> can't seem to find any more it's like very bare for for finding alive live animals at times we could feed on this Nice. I wonder if you can like respawn or like what does that say? Suitable for teleportation magic. So I guess you can technically respawn. Fire blossoms. I keep forgetting that you can kind of do like a sprint. Uh, oh, wow. Wait, your next primary attack deals 25% bonus damage and heals you 5% for your maximum health. Wait, so if you dodge and then you attack within that time, it gives you that much? That's actually pretty good, I feel like. Um, man, we really can't find any... Uh, animals to kill i mean we've been seeing a good amount of players here and there surprisingly oh there's an animal i don't know if you can kill those though i don't know how that guy picked up rats earlier either it didn't really tell me how to uh how to pick up rats if they just like continuously like run away too it kind of would be I don't know, interesting to to figure that out. Okay, let's see. So I think technically these are mine. Nice. Now we should have enough bone axe. Okay, so in a PvE server, you can go back to your body a, a significant amount of time later to pick up the equipment that you need or that you dropped. Bone mace. Craft a mace. Uh, smash. Okay. Let's see. We've got the axe. Now we're crafting the bone mace. Do we have a bone ring already? Yes, we do. 
Looks like you can get it like a cloak at some point too. The hell is that thing? That is terrifying. Treant? No, thank you. Okay. Smash rocks to pieces, into pieces. Okay, that's one. I guess those rocks don't exist. Hopefully this one should. Overall, I will say I, I like this game. I, th I think it's more so um, finding the stuff, but like honestly, if you have a friend or if you join a server that like has like really cool people in it, I feel like it can be a really good time. Um, I never played Valheim, and I know so many people love that. That is a game that I would like to play someday, um, and I honestly should probably add it to the list with Soldier Pat, because I feel like we would uh, possibly both enjoy that. But, but yeah, this uh, this game seems pretty cool so far. I definitely, I personally want to play more, and I was going to play it on stream, like I said earlier. But Arma just released. Uh, uh, armor reforge release so i'm going to be playing that tonight on stream instead which at the time of this video is probably going to go up uh tomorrow the 18th uh hopefully <laughs> but yeah for you guys i mean that doesn't really matter i'm still used to talking to chat as if they're watching in real time okay um instruct and interact with the castle heart Oh, that's this thing. Heart of your domain, as long as it contains your blood essence, it will power your castle and keep it from decaying. You can expand your territory with borders and floors originating from the heart. If the heart is destroyed, your entire castle crumbles. Cramped area, cramped area. So we need to find an area that's not cramped. Approximately 40%. Buildable space near this location. Also, I don't think we have the resources. We need more stone. Wow, we need three more stone. All right, let me get three more stone. I wonder if you clear out like the uh, stuff in the area, if it's better to do it like that. Like any materials. Okay, now we should have plenty of stone. Uh, what did we press to open that up? No, it wasn't that. It was vain. Lower your guard and allow other vampires to drink your blood. Sp splits your blood bowl in half. You share your blood and blood type with another vampire. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty neat. Now, it didn't really tell me what Blood Men uses. I think Blood Men uses whatever's in your pool. Uh, and then if your pool runs out, then it's GG's. Where <laughs> Well, you go down to 1%. You stay alive, but you're really, really, really close to dying. But either way, that's that's still pretty cool. Um, we need to figure out how to open up that menu again. Forget. What was it? Controls? It wasn't like a crafting wheel, was it? Land panel. V blood. Push to talk, emote wheel, global chat. I'm surprised there's, there's like nobody talking in global chat either. There is an auto run. Huh.
Here, let's go to crafting again. B. That's what it is. Uh, buildable space near the location. Limited area. Blocked by unit. Oh, there's one. Okay. We made it. Now what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Castle heart. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm standing in this. Uh, expand your territory by placing borders three. The nice little starting area. We can always move later on, right? Definitely looks like a vampire. B. Okay, border. There's three borders. Protect your ter territory by placing palisades. Zero out of three. I feel like I should put more of these. Missing resource, missing resource. What resource do you need? Stone? Oh, there's a giant bear. Oh god, bear, bear. Move, move. Wait. Oh no, is that bear gonna keep spawning there? I mean, that's not horrible, but... Oh god, I'm burning. I'm burning. All right, so that's what happens when you get put on fire. Jeez, I'm on fire again. Oh, good. Okay, bear. Hit me again. No, not now. Uh, can I heal? Jeez. Okay, that thing has a really small time to, uh... Okay, so if you feed on them, you can still pick up their equipment. The counter has a very, very small amount of time to actually use it. In decay. I would like to expand my territory to like this side too. What do we need for this? Yeah, let's make our make sure our blood pool stays stays up. Got animal hide. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, run. That's not good. kidding me you're kidding me wait for an ally now we'll, we'll respawn i mean it's not too far off from where we uh we spawned back in at luckily so that part is good All right, let's run back up there. Howdy. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Let's 
funny. We're starting to see more people's uh, areas built up. It's... All right, so we got all of mine back. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we still need more stone, I think. So pretty much when you get into the game, honestly, you just want to start hacking and slashing at everything you see because in the end, you're going to use the materials. They're going to need them anyways. All right, let's expand it right there. That works. That's a good start. Um, let's put this one there. Do I need to break down these trees? I might have to break down the trees to be able to put that there. What is uh do we all chop damage has a greater effect on wood oh <laughs> really this whole time uh is a great off oh, of course the mace is good for rocks and other stuff that's why it tells you to give it the home only just figuring that out like an hour later or so that's all right. Now we know. Okay, it's part of the learning experience. All right, all right. Now, okay, yep, we're using the correct one. I also need to find some blood here soon. Uh, I don't think we can use this. Yeah, attack level too low. I'm gonna get some stone. Hey, those aren't real. So I'm trying to get enough stone so just so I can expand my territory back a little bit further to that water. Uh, like the waterfront. Or the lake, not waterfront. If I get these three, then I should be fine after that. I like how he runs with it on his back. Okay, let's expand this back here. Oh my god, there's rock. Were they there the whole time? Okay. Now. Put those there. Can I make doors? Place a wooden coffin and place wooden stash. Uh, so we need more lumber and stash. We need more lumber for as well. Consumes bones to generate dense, dense mist that blocks out the sun in a small area. Castle heart. Okay. Why is this showing up as red? Production.
Doors can be placed in the entrance. Palisade wall. Production. Oh, maybe it's exterior? No. Lighting. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, we need to get some health, number one. Uh, and... Yeah, number one, we need to get some health. Number two. I'm not sure what number two is. Oh, um. Oh, wow, that's very small to see. Holy. Okay, well, we know there's a bandit camp over here. Number one is health. Number two is lumber. That's what we need. A little bit more lumber would be good. All right, not a little bit, but we need to, actually a lot of it. I think we needed like 200 or so for both. Disappeared. <laughs> Hello there. What? Nobody talks. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. This is probably a big... Yeah, we got a lot of lumber from that. That's nice. I wonder... So... Is it... Do these have durability? Yes, they do. It is... It looks like it's pretty high, though. So that's that's nice. Um, we might have enough for the next things we need to create or craft. So that's looking good. Let me see if I can get up to this bandit camp. Uh, just to fill my blood pool a little bit. Blood type frail. Do you lose health slowly and ultimately perish if you run out of blood? Yeah, we need we need more. Getting thirsty. Oh god. Feed. Wait, was that a, uh, a cloak? It looks like we picked up like a cloak from them. It's like typically there's usually a, uh, thing right there. Then the 20% chance to critical strike on weapon attacks. Hmm. Okay, let's try finishing this area. How did I even get into my own? Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Actually, though, how did I get in here?
Yeah. Um. I think I can probably go through this. There we go. Yep. All right, let's put a wooden coffin right, right. Uh, rotate. In a small stash. Construct inter uh, and interact with a sawmill. Construct and interact with a simple workbench. Increase your gear level by crafting stronger equipment. Uh, do we have enough for like making a door? I'll say wall. I think so. How do I deconstruct? Oh. Dismantle. Uh, guys. Now put the gate there. Aha. Open. Close. Nice. We made a door. It's a nice little cozy place, I guess. All right. Well, that was part one of, uh, v rising i keep wanting to say vampire rising if you did enjoy this video definitely leave a like on it let me know uh, if you do want to see more uh i will gladly jump back onto this game i uh, hopefully at some point i'll do like a stream of it or something but now it's a little bit questionable with how things are going to go with arma and also still working on assassin's creed black flag so um with that said, that's going to be it for me. Thank you, as always. Like the video, subscribe for more, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Peace out.